Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Here's a breaking news. There was a magnitude 6.5 earthquake near Chalice, Idaho. Yeah, I just got done editing and putting together. It takes me hours sometimes to do the Yellowstone update about all the earthquakes that have been happening there across the park. A uh, 2.6 and a 2.9. But this 6.5 earthquake... 1,587 people reported feeling it. It was shallow, 10 kilometers in depth, was about 6 miles in depth, and you'll see we got uplift. If you go back and look at my Yellowstone video, which I haven't posted yet, because my daughter was here after I got done editing it and doing homework with my grandson, because kids are home from school uh, because of the coronavirus, but the initial first wave of the earthquake came from the southeast. That's very significant. Tension was applied going um, southwest. Here is a good image, fairly good image, of the Snake River Plateau. And I've talked about for a long time how the magma has been moving horizontally in the park. It's moving in an easterly direction. Um, there's some fault lines that run up going north to south through here. And in the past, there was dike intrusion um, as the hot spot moved up Yeah, through here. You notice Idaho Falls, Chalice National Forest. Here is the signature of that earthquake as it came in at Grant Village, which is on the western side of Yellowstone Lake. And then down here at the bottom is Holmes Hill, which is by um, Heben Lake. Let me pull this over so you can see it's still shaking up the caldera. This is not good. I want to post this and then I'll post what I had worked on earlier today about Yellowstone. Yeah. It's like, how did you know, Mary? Here is the location of that earthquake. And we'll pull this out. This is using Google Earth. And in my other video, I talked about the magma that's coming into Yellowstone um, from the Snake River Plateau. The red lines here is the uplift as of 2015. Yeah. On EMSC, we got testimonies. Woke me up, bed was shaking 8 to 10 seconds. Felt like it was shaking, lasted about 15 to 20 seconds. What else we got here? It was considerable. I live in an apartment complex on the third floor. And everything shook hard immediately after many people were coming out on two balconies to make sure we weren't just all going crazy. Now that was 151 kilometers from where this earthquake occurred. So that was in Boise, Idaho, about 93 miles from where the earthquake occurred. Let me pull this up. Serious quake lasted 25 seconds or so. It shook us. Heard slightly cracking in the home. At about the time that earthquake was occurring, my cats were walking around meowing, looking out the window. My one cat was up in my lap, feeling very insecure, wanting petting. And um, anyways, another one. Big shake, then longer shaking for 15 to 20 seconds. Some stuff fell off shelves. Second story wall was shaking. Two rumbles sounded like wind blowing against the house. Very interesting. It seemed to come from the west, but ended north to south. Good jolt here. Um, what else we got here? Cadwell. Slight lateral swings, ceiling lamp swinging, and water in the toilet bowl sloshing. That's about it. They were 175 kilometers from where it happened. So Cadwell is about 108 miles from this location. Yeah, there'll be hundreds of aftershocks because of this earthquake. Um, yeah, and all we got to do is be prepared and hope for the best and pray for the most. And <laughs> what can I say? So I'll post this one and then I'll post the other one that I had already finished and edited and etc. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.